Welcome back. If you're planning on having a quiet Christmas inside this weekend, we have a few Christmas movies to help you get you into the holiday spirit. Our film critic Tony Toscano has the reviews. Good morning and Merry Christmas. If you're looking for a few holiday films to watch this weekend, I have a few suggestions for you and they're all on Netflix. Let's begin with A Castle for Christmas. So this is a category five. I thought you became a writer because of Grandpa. He used to sit and listen to his stories about the castle in Scotland. Haven't you always wanted to go see it? Yeah. To escape a scandal, a best-selling author journeys to Scotland where she falls in love with a castle and faces off with the grumpy duke who owns it. The film stars Carrie Elways and Brooke Shields. I love her talent and her comedy. Her comedy chops are extraordinary. So when I knew she was cast in this role, I felt very confident that we were gonna have a, a good movie together. We were gonna have fun and we did. We were so blessed that, that Carrie said yes, you know, and when it was really precious to us and I wanted to, and I knew he hadn't done um, a rom-com since Princess Bride. And, and, I, and I think that we took that so to heart. We wanted to make sure that he was comfortable and felt like he'd made the right decision. A Castle for Christmas is a fun, romantic holiday fantasy to take in while wrapping those last minute gifts. Again, A Castle for Christmas is airing on Netflix and gets a B. It's rated TVG. Also on Netflix, Vanessa Hudgens stars in The Princess Switch 3. I present to you the star of peace. Sorry to interrupt your majesty, but we have a bit of a situation. The star of peace is gone. This can't be happening. In the third outing of the popular holiday series, a priceless relic is stolen and the investigation blossoms into an unexpected romance. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I remember reading the script and it was, it was slightly daunting um, because <laughs> I know how much work it takes. Um, but I was really excited because I feel like it's, it's an amazing holiday feel good rom-com, but we get to kind of make it our own and unique. And it's kind of like the, the holiday heist movie you never knew you needed. <laughs> the Princess Switch 3 is an amusing diversion film for watching on Christmas Eve. Don't look for any deep plots, just put on your flannel PJs and fuzzy slippers and enjoy. Again, The Princess Switch 3 is streaming on Netflix and gets a B. It's rated TVPG. And finally, for the holidays, it's the Santa origin story, A Boy Called Christmas. He's a human. Will he eat us? Where am I? There's something here. To see something, you must believe in it. Really believe. An ordinary young boy named Nicholas sets out on an extraordinary adventure into the snowy north in search of his father who's on a quest to discover the fabled village of the elves. Henry Lawful stars as Nicholas. It's the fact that, you know, during the darkest times, the darkest months of winter, um, people can, you know, pick themselves up from their lowest points and, you know, believe in themselves and, you know, achieve anything, I guess. A Boy Called Christmas is a well-written, well-acted, and surprisingly deep story about family and finding your place in the world. A Boy Called Christmas gets a B and is rated TVPG. For ABC4, I'm film critic Tony Toscano. Have a great holiday. Are you too, Tony. And to see the rest of Tony's reviews, visit his website, screenchatter.com.